What's up Scrappy peeps? It's Adele from Inky Quill and I'm up with a little project life process video for you today. I'm I'm so excited with project life at the moment. I kind of went out of it. You know how you go in phases with your projects? Let me know in the comments below. What's a crafty, anything crafty, creative project that you were obsessed, loved and just were totally into it and then just kind of faded off for a little bit but you've been maybe you are yet to find your mojo for that project again or um, you have let me know what that project was so I'm catching up with my project life and part of catching up with project life is I'm also trying to use up some of my kits so today I'm using the citrus twist pocket life kit from January this year and I'm still waiting for my February one in the mail. So I decided to grab the January, Gen, January, January, <laughs> the January one and try and use some of it up because what I do, a lot of people ask what I do with my kits. Um, so what I generally tend to do is probably use, I'd say 60% or more. So maybe like 65% if we're being pedantic and then I break the kit apart and put it into my stash because by that point I might be I might be running really low on pocket cards or um, a particular embellishment or there might be some of the stickers and embellishments that I don't think I'm going to be able to use and so I think that once you get most once you once you stop being as excited for a kit it's time to split it up and put it in your stash an alternative, if you'd like, is that you can rebuild the kit up. So you could always grab other papers and things from your stash that coordinate with the colors or the theme that the kit has and kind of rebuild the kit. It's like renovating. Maybe, ooh, how would you guys like, this just came to be them, how would you like a series called Kit Renovation, which is where I get a half-used kit and build it up again and see what I can make from it. Ooh, I like that. It reminds me, I love house renovation videos, so it reminds me of that. While I've been talking, I've been doing this little card and it turns out to be my favorite on the page. I, when I first saw this pocket, oh, I fight with this arrow for ages. I should have cut some of this out. The staples, the staple didn't go in properly the first time, so it, it didn't actually go through the wood veneer. It just went on the page. The second time it was uh, lumpy and then the third time lucky I decide to glue it down and leave one of the staples there so it kind of looks like it went through but it really didn't. Um, but I love the look of that big label on that piece of paper. It's definitely something I want to do um, again. I, When I first saw that pocket card I, I wasn't a huge fan only because I'm not into the uh, cactus succulent plant uh, theme in scrapbooking lately, but I made it work. And I think that sometimes it's important if there's something in a kit straight away that you're not a fan of, don't use it straight away. That's okay. Just let it sit around. This is probably the fourth, I think, pocket page that I've done with this kit. And I've also done two layouts. I do believe so I'm, I'm getting to the point where after this layout I do I, I am going to take it apart um, and re and put it into my stash I think um, but if there's something in a kit that you don't like straight away that's that's okay everyone's tastes are different and I think it's important just to let it sit just just simmer in your kit for a little bit and then if you still don't like it at the end then you can de-stash it give it to a friend um, or use it for layering that's another good way but also don't give up on it straight away just give it another chance so this photo I love it's we went to um, our local uh, street festival that we haven't been to before and they it was very hipster very trendy very muso uh, a lot cooler than Aaron and I both are but we we tried to blend in with all of the youths that um, are wearing their their thrift shop ripped jeans with multiple facial piercings and colored hair we, we tried to fit in looking like a <laughs> looking like suburban mum and dad um, but they did this amazing uh, mural wall with spray paint the guy was doing it during the whole street festival and it was 
incredible to watch. So I wanted to make sure that I picked that. Now here I'm using the Jane Davenport white paint pen and I'm not a fan. It's the first time I've used it. So I'm going to give it another chance, like I said before, but on the blue, it just wasn't opaque enough for my liking. So I decided to use the uh, Uni Ball Signo in the broad tip, which is my favorite white pen. If you're looking for a white pen to try, it's a great one to give a go, see if you like it, because just like with kits, everyone's different. And um, we, we have different pen, uh, I, I am not a pen snob. I'm a pen, let's see, I, I'm, I'm a pen routiner. So once I find a pen that I love, I, I am monogamous with that pen. I, I don't like to cheat on the pen. I don't like to try other pens. I, I just stick to the one. Let me know, are you, do you like to socialize with your pens? Do you like to try out a lot of different pens or do you usually stick to just your fave? I really want to try a fountain pen, but I don't know where to start. I don't have any idea of brands and things. If you, if you do use fountain pens, give me a tip, give me a, <laughs> a suggestion of where to start. Nothing too expensive. I just want to try and see if I like writing with ink through the fountain pen. Next up, I've got a little journaling card here and I was just writing about this new sleep schedule that we did for Archie. So we, we were having a lot of trouble with sleep. I've, I talk about it in our um, daily vlogs on our Mr. and Mrs. Rad YouTube channel. And it was just, it was getting to the point where he, he was just a nightmare during the day for sleeping. So we tried this new book called Save Our Sleep and it did magic for us. Um, it really, really worked wonders. And at that point, we we're just ready to try anything. And, you know, they, every, with children, there are so many suggestions out there. But for us, this one works. So I wanted to put that in my project life because it saved us. And now he's uh, sleeping through the night, which is lovely. But that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this layout. Just a quick little one with a, a few little bits and bobs from the Citrus Twist Pocket Life kit. But I'll be back very soon. Bye.